Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you how you can add some grain like this to your Instagram filter. I will provide you all the assets you need for this. Just check the link in the description and download all the files and when you have done this, we can start. Hey again, when you have downloaded all the assets, we can start here with this tutorial and add some grain to our Instagram filter. I set up here a classic color dot filter to show you um, how to add grain, but you can do this with every, any other kind of filters. So yes, for the first step, we have to import our assets we have just downloaded. So just go to add assets and then click on animation sequence. Here, go to the right hand side and um, to texture, click on this little arrow and click new texture. Then. Um, yeah, select all the grain textures and click on open. Now um, Spark AR will import our textures. Then one important step is to go to the textures folder here, click on grain and then select no compression. So we have the best um, yeah, quality possible. So the next step is to yeah create a material. I will call this grain and then set the shader type to flat. Now. Here select as texture our animation sequence, so our grain we have just imported. And the next step is to add a new object. Here I will add a rectangle object and you will see the rectangle here on the left upper corner. Then go to the right hand side and set the width of the rectangle to fill width and the height to fill height. So when you have done this, you have to just select the material for the rectangle. So click on this little plus next to materials when you have um, selected the rectangle and here select grain as the material. So now you will see some yeah, pretty weird stuff, but yeah, let's change this. So the first thing is to slow down the animation sequence. So just select the animation sequence of the grain, go to the right hand side and set the FPS from 25 to let's say five. And now it's much slower. So next is to go to the grain material and here set the blend mode to um, yeah, multiply. So now we, you can see we already see each other, but yeah, it's now it's um, real, really, really much grain. You can leave it that way when you like it, but yeah, I will set it down for this. Go to the right hand side when you have selected the material and lower the opacity. Um, I think here is yeah, 25 is a good amount of grain. So you see a little bit, so you get that, that nostalgic vintage flair to your filter. But yeah, I think that's pretty cool. So yeah, I think that was all. So now you have successfully added some grain to your filter. I hope I could help you. If yes, give it a thumbs up to this video. And if you're new to this channel, it would be cool when you subscribe to it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.